Hello, what is up everybody? My name is Mario Bichardo. Welcome to another episode. Today we'll be talking about a conservative kind of uprising in the wake of some world events. For example, if we look at what happened with the Mueller report, you know, and this story kind of falls apart that's been peddled for two years by MSNBC, by CNN, New York Times. You know, all of these organizations come together and start to tell people, oh, you know, you, if you... You know, if you you have to believe this, there's a connection between Trump and Russia. And so the Mueller report comes out and breaks down every single one of these claims. And it says, no, there was nothing there. There was no, nothing there. That, there. There was no evidence at all for it. And people see that and they say, whoa, hold on. The same organ, you're, t hold on, you're trying to tell me that the same organizations that for the last two years have been peddling to the people of the United States, that there was certainly a connection between this active sitting president and uh, a foreign power to rig the United States elections. And and the, the, you've been telling me that for two years, and now it's coming out that all of that was false? Why should I listen to anything that you say at all? A at all. I mean, we're talking, you, you really have to put this in context. We're talking about, and you, you really can't, I think, overstate this, major billion-dollar companies you know, the, this isn't Joe Schmo down the street. For the last two years have been spreading disinformation, have been sped, spreading fake news to the, to the public about an active, sitting president of the United States. Not only that, but they, they, they've created an environment or helped to create an environment, um, added, certainly added onto the fire, of creating a, an environment so dangerous that if you walk down the street of a liberal um of really a city because most most of the big cities are liberal you walk down the streets of a, of a big metropolitan area you are likely to be assaulted for wearing a hat you're you're likely to be harassed just for wearing a hat who what that says make america great again it just has words on it. That wouldn't happen in America before this had happened, before this went down. And so, you, you know, we really have to put this into, into context. Um, but the great news about it is that the people are looking at this and they're saying, uh, you know, I don't know if I, I, I don't, you know what, you, you've lied for the last two years. I'm done. Like, I'm done. You have billions of dollars. You couldn't fact check this. You couldn't make sure that what you were telling us was the was the was the facts. Was only the facts. No. Okay. Well, I'm done. And so these people go over, and rightfully so. A lot of them go over to independent news sources. They they're the people who go over and they check out the Tim pools and they check out the. Who else is there? Uh, the Ben Shapiro's. They, they're, they're these people are going over to listen to Joe Rogan on his three-hour podcast talk about real things with real people. Because who would have thought? You know, as Jordan Peterson says, who would have thought that people want complex, you know, in, engaging conversations, you know, about all different sorts of topics. People want to learn more. They want to see more. They're not dumb. You know, and so that that's the great that's the great news is that people are looking at this and they're clearly distinguishing what's going on. We don't live in a vacuum where nothing's going to happen because 
people aren't noticing things. They are. You know, just look at the Gillette ad that came out that was spewing these ideas about toxic masculinity and men being toxic and men needing to be more uh, kinder to women, less masculine, in that if they find a woman attractive, they shouldn't ask her out. And so, you know, when that video came out, people flamed and destroyed it in the comments section. Um, so much so that Gillette went back in and, I mean, somebody went back in and started deleting people's comments. You know that because people were typing in that chat box, oh, you know, my comment had been deleted. Uh, I have to, this is the fourth time I'm posting it. And dozens and dozens of people would come out there and say that. And now what you see is in the wake of what happened in New Zealand, um, a bunch of countries are now apparently coming together uh, to increase the censorship. Because that's what it is. I mean, let's not, we, we live in a society where people clearly are smart enough to make their own decisions, to look at a piece of information and not let it radicalize them. Um, but now these same people, and it's just, a, to me, it's astonishing. It makes me upset because it's, it's, it's just a matter of like, where's the competency? Cause I don't see it where we have people who, um, these same people who have been spreading disinformation for God knows how long, certainly in the last two years when it comes to Russia. Um, now they want to increase the powers of the, of these censorship of, of these, of these organizations. They want to give them even more power. And for what reason? It's crazy. It's, it's, it's so, but the good news, the good news, and I'll say it again is that people are not sitting by and just kind of letting this fly over their heads. You know, people are waking up. People are noticing that this is happening. And that, and I'll tell you right now, guys, that's why the censorship is increasing. It's increasing because they know, and by they, I mean the establishment politicians the, uh, the elite group of society that has the power over these corporations, that has, uh, you know, that owns all these big companies, that uh, have shared political interests, that have shared economic interests, financial interests. Um, these people who own all the, you know, all these things that have their own agendas. Globalists, for example. You know, People are starting to realize we can't trust these people. And that's wonderful. So the one thing that I do think that we need is more people to get on their mics. More people to share real news, to point out misinformation when it comes out of these news organizations. Because, and like Tim Pool is trying to do with Subverse when he's, when he's launched Subverse, and now he's taking applications right now, if you guys are interested, um, for jobs uh, over at, at, at Subverse. Um, we need more people engaging, more people reaching out and pointing out these, these lies, pointing out the facts and the truth. Because journalism right now, at least in America, is non-existent in the mainstream variety. And so what came up to take its place was independent news. The same independent news sources that YouTube is now trying to pull off the market because they don't like the message that they're putting up. And they've quoted, oh, well, we have authoritative news. The CNNs, the, the same people that spewed this nonsense about Russia, this conspiracy theories about Russia for the last two years, these multi billion dollar organizations in some cases 
who at the same time cannot do simple Google searches for some cases, where they even said about the Catholic high school Indian case, they said that he was a veteran. He wasn't. It came out after the fact. And so, I mean, do they fact check? Do, I'm sorry, but do these organizations fact check anything at all? Because I'm concerned. And to have an organization like that in the position of power and that they're in, I am deeply, deeply concerned. And in fact, I believe, and I think reasonably so, when you look at the Mueller report, when you look at how they treated the Catholic uh, case, they're being sued. CNN's being sued for their coverage of that. And so with those justifications, I am deeply concerned that these organizations are not able, not only are they not able, but they are present a danger to the public where they're actively spewing disinformation to the, to the public that is, that is, that is, changing public opinion um, to to the degree where I think that it it is a national security risk to have these organizations in place. I am not in favor of, of government stepping in and doing something about it because it sets a horrible precedent, terrible precedent. Um, government should never be able to say, oh, well, this news is good, this news is bad. Never. Um, but this is why we have the first the First Amendment. So if we cannot take them down, which we shouldn't, they should have a right to be up. Everybody should have a right to be up. What we should do is we should turn around and say, let, I'm sorry for that, if you guys heard that bump. Um, what we should say is let, don't restrict access for Joe Schmo, who maybe only has 20 followers and wants to, talk about whatever maybe he thinks there's giant bacon monsters in the sky let him be up there you know because while he may spew weird things while he may lie on his things so does cnn as we know with what they did cnn spewing fake news joe schmo spoon spewing fake news who's the arbiter to say which group is fake news and who's not that power does not exist that power should never exist uh and so anyway we're running a little long here guys but Again, things are looking good because people are waking up. We just need more people on the ground, more people to get out there and say, this is the news. You know, this is the news, not fake news. This is, this is what I think. More people with, on the ground at these locations, like let's say uh, the protests that are happening in, in France against Macron's um, regime. Uh, I could call it an administration, but I'm going to call it a regime because... I believe it's a regime. Uh, the people are stepping up there and they're saying, okay, no more. We need people on the ground there, reporting there, like Subverse is doing, Tim Pool Subverse. Um, we need independent news. We need independent journalism. We need independent sources that we can trust because clearly we're not getting it from the big boys. And whether that's because of money, personal agenda, or something else, um, quite frankly, in a free and open society, people ought to have the right to make their own decisions. And they ought to have the right to be able to trust their news sources to tell them real news. And if they're not going to do it, then let the people choose who they're going to listen to. So uh, with that, guys, uh, we'll end it here. If you guys like the video, smash that like button. If you love the video, destroy that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you're not notified when the next video goes live. Uh, so with that, have a good one, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>